Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. New promo pics have been released from Empire. Let's take a closer look at them. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new videos. Now that that is out of the way, let's begin. We get a view of the expanse of Iraqus and Empire describes this film as one of the most daring movies in decades. This is exactly what we want to hear. We want to hear that this is a risky film. We want there to be the unconventional, the strange but the beautiful. At least I know I do. The first image we got to see was of Paul and Cheney between a cavern. You can clearly see her eyes of their bed. Timothy Chalamet looks very young in this image, which fits the description of Paul in Dune, as he is meant to be 15 years old. The image reminds me of a scene when Paul is describing his dream. Paul closed his eyes. I dreamed a cavern, and water, and a girl there, very skinny with big eyes. Her eyes are all blue, no whites in them. So I think this is the scene being described from the book. We also got another look at Oscar Isaac as the Duke Leto, with a look of dread in his eyes. And let's not forget his epic beard, and Josh Brolin as Gurney Halleck. And more of the technology that we're going to see in Denis Villeneuve's Dune. Here we can see he has binoculars, and they both have the wrist shields. We can also see Gurney Halleck's scar a little more clearly as well, across his left cheek. We get to see another look at Jason Momoa as Duncan Idaho in a fight scene against what appear to be Sardaukar, again in his still suit with two blades. These are disguised Sardaukar, as in Sardaukar wearing Harkonnen clothing. They also appear to have a symbol with three lines, which appears to be a new symbol we haven't seen yet. The fight must be on Arrakis because there is sand surrounding them. Now if you don't want the movie to be spoiled, I suggest you skip this part or watch another video of mine. This clearly seems to be the infamous scene where Duncan Idaho fights off so that the others can escape, which results in him losing his life. Now this is going to be a fantastic emotional scene where it will be Idaho's last stand and Jason Momoa's performance is really going to show through this emotional moment, similar to the fateful scene of Boromir in the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. So here is an image of a man's last stand and now we know what he will look like, what he will be dressed like, and we get a sense of the emotional impact this is going to have on the Dune film. We got another look at Rebecca Ferguson as Jessica, with the Duke, surrounded by the brutalist architecture of Iraqus, Jessica wearing a striking red dress. And this will be at the banquet scene. She looks lovingly and intensely in his eyes, showing her devotion to him and her deep love. We get a new look at Stilgar, which also features Stilgar's eyes of the Ebed more clearly. And we get more of a taste of what the Fremen are going to look like. And their look is reminiscent of the Tuareg, or the Berber, evoking the same feeling as the art by Simon Guinard. This image of Stilgar seems to be depicting the first moment that Stilgar encounters Jessica and Paul in the open desert. I think by this point Stilgar has already met Paul, so he knows him, he's familiar with him, and he knows his worth, so they'll essentially bargain for their lives. So I think this is going to be a tense moment on screen. We get our first look at just how grand and how epic the scope of this dune is going to be in this amazing image of troops gathering and empire includes the caption there will be blood this is going to be bad blood between the atreides and house harkonnen it's going to be a bloody battle some believe that this is the baron vladimir harkonnen floating in the air with a cape but i think that the scaling would just be wrong even if he were to be this largely obese character. The head seems too large for the scale. If you compare it to the soldiers right at the front, he's too large. So I think this is a pedestal, a platform where a person right at the top who is seemed to be sized correctly, proportionately accurate, is standing and will be ready to give the speech. This seems to be Raban, 
on that platform. An epic moment for Dave Bautista in Dune. But the reality of this photo, based on what I know, it seems to be Seleucus Secundus, and these are apparently the Emperor's troops, so they're Sardaukar, and if anyone is addressing them, it will be the Sardaukar Bashar. So either Empire has it wrong, or they are just keeping it under wraps so they don't spoil it. The way they've worded it, they don't seem to be sure themselves, but that seems to be the reality, is that these are Sardaukar, not Harkonnen. But plain devil's advocate here, if they were indeed Harkonnen, if it were to be anyone on that platform, it would be Raban. It has that same energy as Helm's Deep, those deep dark colours, and it's probably uh, a CG shot, so it just has that quality about it, that kind of big epic quality. We get to see a group shot of Stilgar, Paul, Cheney, and Jessica. And we get a better look at Cheney's Chris knife. And it seems to be longer than normal. In my previous video, I mentioned how the Chris knives looked different to each other, Paul's and Cheney's. So I think there's going to be a differing in size of Chris knives. So this Chris knife seems to come from a long tooth of the sandworm. We also get to see a scene of the training room with Gurney Halleck, the same room we saw the first still of Paul looking up in shock and Gurney does not look pleased in this still. No belt, so that must be a wrist shield that he's wearing and behind him is something quite interesting. These are certainly the glow globes on Caladan. They seem to have a six-pointed star inside them. Now this light looks almost like a crescent and star and this is an interesting Islamic reference. It may be unintentional but it's ironic and kind of funny to see. But there are links to Islam in Caladan which I hope to cover one day. Again we see Paul in the training room being directed by Denis Villeneuve. This is probably the best still we've seen of Denis Villeneuve behind the scenes because he's working with Timothy Chalamet. They're both in their element on set and it's very interesting to see the same light in the background just from a different angle. So it will be a circular light. And these are our first tastes of the glow globes in Dune. And those are of course practice dummies that he is training on and you can see the hit marks of the sword to the face and body. We get another look at Timothy Chalamet as Paul Atreides. Here he's in the Arakeen residency. Paul is wearing the same clothes he was wearing on Caladan when he left for Arrakis. And behind him is the mural of a sandworm. Here is a better look at the mural. Now as you can see it is beautiful, sprawling, with a winding and twisting tail. Almost something that you would see in religious imagery. And you can see the Fremen running across the dunes. A halo almost emanating from the sandworm's mouth, reminiscent of religious iconography. We previously got to see a brief image of this art from the art department a while ago, and the design seemed to match. Again, another spoiler alert for the Dune movie. This scene is going to be when Paul overlooks the shield wall, and he looks troubled, and this will be a scene between him and the Shadout Mapes we get to see an image of Liet Kynes. This scene will appear in the Dune trailer, and it's already appeared in the Dune teaser. And lastly, we get to see the infamous pain box scene. And this is going to be in the Dune trailer. It has already been in the Dune teaser. We get to look at the pain box itself, that conveniently small, hand-sized box. Paul seems reluctant to approach, but forced to, almost as if the Reverend Mother is using the voice on him forcing him to come closer to her. Charlotte Rampling looking fantastic in this, as I said she did, and just seems so menacing and it seems like it's going to be a really creepy scene. And as I said in my previous video, she reminds me of the Widow of the Web from Kroll. The net across her hidden face like a web, the tall hat. This set is a huge set. This image doesn't really do it justice. The scale of the Neven Love Dune film is extraordinary. They built large sets and then they wish to extend all of those sets with CG to make them even larger. It's going to be a huge film in scope and vision. Way bigger than the scope of the Blade Runner sets and those were big in and of themselves. So that's all that we have right now 
What do you think of these released images? I really want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and click the bell so that you can be first to be notified of new videos. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank my YouTube fans who have been with me since the beginning or if you've just newly joined. I really appreciate it. We've reached over 10k thanks to you. So a big thank you for joining me on this journey. This is a great time to be a Dune fan. There's so much to look forward to and hopefully we'll be getting a trailer soon. If you like this channel you can support me on Patreon where you'll get access to exclusive content and more ahead of time. Thank you and until next time, see you soon.